Hi there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Ethereum Classic on your Windows based PC uh, using something called GPU mining. So, if you're familiar with Ethereum, uh, Ethereum Classic is a fork of Ethereum, so a different version uh, of Ethereum. And what you can actually do is you can mine it in the same way. Uh, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because I think Ethereum Classic is probably going to be quite a good coin to mine uh, for the upcoming year. Um, so that's why I wanted to uh, share it with you guys. And um, that's what I'm going to do in this video, showing you ex exactly what you need to do uh, to get started mining Ethereum Classic. So I've already got the miner actually running. It's in the background. Uh, typically we get a little bit faster speed, but what I've actually done is in this office, uh, just to get the best kind of um, audio quality, I've just reduced the actual GPU fans. Um, so that means that I'm not get getting quite the performance that I normally would get. Uh, normally when mining Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, you normally get about 55 mega hashes per second. Um, but like I say, it's running just a little bit slower because I've got the fans uh, reduced so that the audio quality is better. Okay, so let's uh, jump into it. I'll just close the miner for a moment and we'll come back to the whole process. So the first part is the actual miner itself. So we're going to be using Claymore's dual Ethereum uh, miner, which is suitable for um, AMD and NVIDIA devices. Um, I'm using it on Worker One, and that's the machine that I have two RX uh, 470s inside there. Um, but like I say, you can also use this on uh, NVIDIA machines as well. So the version that I'm using is actually version 7, but the most updated version is 7.4. So I'll just put a link in the actual video description and you can download it uh, from the official uh, sources. Um, so like I say, I'm going to be using Claymore's dual Ethereum miner to do the actual mining process, uh, mining Ethereum Classic. And the pool that I'm going to be using is ethermine.org. So I've used ethermine.org probably for around about a year now, and I've used that for all of my Ethereum mining. Um, it's a really good, solid, reliable pool, which is exactly what you want. Um, but they also provide uh, the option to mine Ethereum Classic as well as. Um, so there's just a, a slight change on the actual settings, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to, to change those settings within your, your miner's batch file. Um, but just to make you aware, the official site is etc.ethermine.org and that's for the Ethereum Classic version of uh, Ethermine. So that's the pool that we're going to be using. Uh, these are all the features. One, one of the, uh, the main features or benefits of this pool is that you don't have to register uh, with the pool. You don't need to uh, sign up with any email address or anything like that. Um, you can just use your, uh, your Ethereum Classic address and like a worker nickname, and you can mine directly and you'll get paid out directly, like I say, without any registration or anything like that is required. So it's really good, um, a block set. and one of the other main benefits is that the, the pool is super reliable, that's, that's the main reason why I do it. There's nothing worse than, than mining into a pool that goes down. So we've got the miner, and we've got the pool that we're going to be using. So the next part is the actual uh, the miner configuration. So I'll show you what you uh, need to do to do that. So I've got all my crypto miners um, together. So like I said, we're going to be using the Claymore's Dual Ethereum uh, Miner. Um, I'm using version 7, but the most recent one is 7.4. The actual installation, the usage will be basically exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about any um, overcomplicated setup or anything like that. And what I'll do is I'll provide the actual link in the description so you can download the current version that I'm using here. And it will also include uh, my actual um, sample batch files for you to, to edit and modify for your own, uh, your own personal use. Uh, so just to show you, um, if I show you the um, right click and I'll go to edit. So this is my standard uh, Ethereum uh, configuration. So we just got the, the call to the miner, the pool that I'm using, like I say, it's eu1.ethermine.org. And then we've got the, uh, the port number there. And then we've got the actual, this is my kind of worker details. So I've got my Ethereum address, then there's a full stop. And then this is my worker nickname. And then this part is the password, which is just X, just really for reference, not really much use at all there. So now I'll show you this setup for Ethereum Classic. It's practically uh, exactly the same, um, just about, sorry, it's not exactly the same, it's almost the same, um, just with a slight sort of variation of it. So let's open up our Ethereum Classic only batch file. So if we go to edit, so at the top part, the first part you'll notice is this part here. Um, this is not really required for all uh, graphics cards. Um, I just included it in because some people will keep um, asking me about it. Um, and I'll leave it in the actual, um, in the sample sort of file that you can download as well. So if you have a two gigabyte graphics card, you might want to include this part at the top. 
Um, it will help get your graphics card started when mining Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. Um, if you have a graphics card that's over two gigabytes, um, most likely you won't need this. Um, unlikely you'll have um, any problems at all. So that's the first part there. So now let's get into the actual starting of the actual miner itself. So the first part is just for graphics configuration. So then we've got the actual ETH miner. So we've got this ETH and decree miner 64.exe. Then we've got the call to the pool. Like I say, the pool is different this time. So we've got eu1-etc.ethermine.org. So the pool address has changed. The pool is the same. The actual pool number is the same, but the, the main uh, pool address has changed. So the next part is our Ethereum Classic wallet address. So in here, I've actually just left my Ethereum uh, wallet. Uh, the address is the same, but you will need to change this part to your Ethereum Classic address. Don't use your Ethereum address. It needs to be Ethereum Classic, otherwise you won't receive your rewards. So make sure you change that part over to your Ethereum Classic address. And then the last part is, like I say, it's just a worker reference. And um, so some people got hung up on this before and they didn't know what the worker reference was or where to get it from. And all it is, it's just a nickname for your machine. So you could just put my uh, rig uh, one, or you can put um, you know, a username of your choice or a nickname of your choice. You don't actually have to get this uh, name from anywhere. You can just completely make it up to whatever you, whatever you like. And what that means is that when you go to the EFMIME pool, and you enter your Ethereum Classic address, you can check your stats. So you copy and paste this address to the, the Ethermine pool, or the, 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 the Ethereum Classic version of the Ethermine pool. You copy and paste this address in there, and then you'll be able to see your um, stats uh, regarding your, your mining hash rate, um, your work details, all that kind of stuff. But you'll also see your worker references. Um, I'll show you what I mean in just a moment, just on the main um, Ethereum uh, pool. And then the last bit is um, just your password there. Um, like I said, the password by default, you just have that set to X. There's no password actually required. So you go to, then you would save that. Um, if you change the names or make any adjustments or anything like that, when you go to save, save the file name as whatever you like, .bat. And then where it's got save as type, make sure you always change that to all files. Um, otherwise it will just get saved as a text file um, and not a actual batch file that you can use. Sorry, demo. And um, we're just going to save that. So here is our file. Like I say, you can see it there. It's a bat batch file, not a text file. Um, you can't run a text file. You can only edit it. Um, and then we can ready to start the actual miner from that point. So I'll just start it up. You can see the top part is the actual uh, GPU configuration. Then it's going to connect to the pool and then it's going to start mining. Like I say, this machine has two RX uh, 470s in there. And just while that's running in the background, I'll just show you what I mean with regards to the uh, worker details. So if I go to uh, ethermine.org, like I said, this is not um, for a Ethereum Classic, and now I enter my, uh, one of my mining addresses. Uh, this is what I was saying with regards to the actual pool details. So you just copy and paste your address in there and then you can see um, like hash rates and further down you can also see your workers. So you can see here I've got my different workers, worker one is, is for this machine uh, right here. Um, so these are your worker nicknames. So that last part uh, where I said your work nickname is um, shows up in this area here. So I just wanted to show you, you that as well. Um, and the same will apply for the ethermine.org. If I paste in the address, it shouldn't really show any details uh, right now. So we haven't really and anything because I haven't really been mining um, at all yet, apart from this just, uh, demonstration to show you. So, and like I say, also make sure you, that you do use your Ethereum Classic address, not a regular Ethereum address. You won't you won't get your rewards or you won't be able to access them. So I'll just minimize that and see if the miner is up and running. And it is. So the miner is on its merry way. We're currently getting 52.2 mega hashes per second. Uh, approximately 26 mega hashes for each of the cards. Uh, like I said, that's normally would run faster. But I've just got the fans turned down so the, the cards are getting a little bit hot and that's why we're not getting the, the, the best performance. And typically out of these uh, GPUs with the uh, modified BIOS, which I normally use, uh, normally get uh, just under 28 mega hashes um, for each of the uh, GPUs and around about 56 mega hashes um, combined there. Um, and I'm just going to stop the recording now because like I see you just sort of see a little bit of a glitch there. That's because I'm mining and recording all on the same machine and I don't want it to crash. So I'm just going to stop it here.
just stop the miner at least. Um, okay, so that's that stopped. Okay, so that just about concludes this video. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been updating the videos um, quite as much as I should have, just because uh, I've been busy with work and all that kind of uh, business. Um, but hopefully you found this information useful and uh, that can get you mining Ethereum Classic and hopefully get you into some profit and um, have a good year ahead with that. So as always, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, be sure to leave those in the comments area below and I'll get back to you um, accordingly. Um, also the links and everything that you need, I'll put that in the video description. So just download everything and get set up nice and easily um, and that's it so till next one guys take care